sorry, there, there was something in my mouth. Good start. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be filming for you my what's in my bag video travel edition. My last video was my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and I asked you guys in that giveaway to write in the comments down below what your favorite type of YouTube videos were to watch, and so many of you came back with what's in my bag videos. I figured I should probably film a what's in my bag video. Well, duh. I've already filmed a what's in my bag video, and that was sort of my everyday bag. This time, I thought it would be more fun if I showed you what I take as a carry-on. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're interested in what I use as a carry-on and what I put in that carry-on, then keep on watching. So the bag that I've been using for my carry-on bag is the, oh my god, this is heavy, is a Louis Vuitton Keep All in the size 45. It is in the canvas exterior. And the pattern that I have is Demier Eben, Demier Ivan, I, oh, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's in this pattern. <laughs> it's got gold hardware, it comes with a nice little luggage tag, it's got a lock that you get a key that it goes with it as well. I also got the shoulder strap. I would say if you're someone that carries a lot of stuff in your bag, I would definitely recommend it. I am always holding this bag using the shoulder strap. If you guys have any questions, like specifics about the bag, or you want sort of more like thorough review of it, just let me know in the down bar down below. So let's get into it. The first item that I always carry in my travel on bag, travel on, carry on, <laughs> my travel on bag is my MacBook Air. I really like it. If I were to purchase this computer now, I would buy a MacBook Pro, basically just because editing videos, uploading photos and everything, I find that this gets full really, really quickly. But yeah, other than that, I always take this as a carry-on and I watch movies on it. I usually edit or I look at photos, stuff that you do on computers. The next item is an item that I always just think is just really good to have on hand, and these are chargers. This one's for my computer and this one's for my phone. Yeah, I always feel, sorry, I just hit myself in the face. Which I think I did in my last video too. A lot of the planes that you travel on nowadays have charging ports and USB ports, so I always find that it's just good to have a copy of these. Next item that I always carry with me is my camera. Oh, sorry, I'm shedding. A Sony A5100. I got this camera for vlogging. It's got the flip up screen. I will be honest, I haven't used this as much as I thought I would. I haven't really gotten into vlogging very much on my channel. I'm hoping to do that in the future, but for right now, um, I use it more just for photos. I'll do a review of this camera once I use it more. I have very high hopes that I will fall in love with this camera. The next item that I have in my carry-on bag is always a pair of sunglasses, whether it's hot, cold, snowy, sunny, wherever. I always just take sunglasses. So these glasses I actually talked about in my October favorites video, so I will link that down below if you guys are interested in looking at that. These are the Desi Perkins collaboration with High Key. No, it's collaboration with Key Australia in the style high key. <laughs> I always have a pair of sunglasses. I feel like you always need them, so yes. So the next item is something that I always have in my travel bag. And it's so weird because I never use it while I'm traveling. I always use it when I get to the destination, but I just always take it in my travel bag. And it is my portable speaker. Now this is the UE brand. I think it's called a UE Boom. I love listening to music. So especially if I'm staying in a hotel room, I always have this thing going. It's awesome. Item that I always have in my travel bag are cliff bars. They're not always necessarily cliff bars, but usually some sort of snack of some type. I will say though, I don't often ever eat them. I usually put them in my bag and then end up buying something at the airport, but at least I feel like if something happened and I couldn't get food, I would always have these. The next thing that I always have in my travel bag is my wallet. I will not talk a lot about this because I'm thinking that I'm going to do a bag collection video and I'll go into a bit more detail about my wallet, even though it's not a bag, but I'll put it in that video. The next item that I always carry with me is this passport and ticket holder. I got this from Aldo Shoes. It is proven to be the most useful thing ever. I used to just sort of throw my passport and tickets and everything in my bag, and then I found when I got up to the counter, it was kind of this like mad scramble to find everything. So this just keeps everything in one place. You can see it has like a bunch of different little tabs. I always carry, where is it? I always carry a pen in here. I think it was like $20 Canadian, so 
I don't know how much that would be in whatever currency you use. The next item that I carry with me is another camera and it is my GoPro. So since I haven't been vlogging as much as I want to, I haven't been using this bad boy as much as I want to, but I always take it traveling with me just because I think it's something that it's always good to have if you ever needed it. And the footage is just so cool. The next item that I always have when I travel, which was in my last What's In My Bag video, that video was actually kind of a mix of my everyday Plus, I had just gotten back from Vegas, so I had a couple travel items in there. So this may overlap a little bit from my last video, but are my Bose headphones. These are noise canceling. They're great headphones. The one thing that I wanted to point out, which I love when we travel, this little thing, you may not be able to see it, is a headphone divider. So say I'm watching a movie on my laptop and we want to watch a movie together, there's only one headphone jack on my laptop. So what this little thing does is it makes it so that there's two headphone jacks. It's a novel idea. <laughs> Whoever came up with this is a genius. So the next item that I have in my travel on bag, travel on, I need to stop saying travel on. It's a carry on, carry on, is a scarf. You might think it's kind of weird why I would put a scarf. I use it as more of like a blanket. Even if I'm not cold on a plane, I kind of just like the feeling of like being in a blanket. The next item that I always carry with me is a book. I will be honest with you, I don't always read it, but I always take a book. I just figured if I got sick of watching a movie or if we got delayed somewhere and I kind of wanted something different. So I always take a book. I just think it's good to read. That's kind of a side note. The next item that I carry with me all the time is my phone and it's a phone. The next item that I always carry with me is a makeup bag. I just put whatever makeup I'm wearing at the moment. If I take a lot of makeup when I'm going away, I will put that in my actual luggage that I check. But just as far as things like touch-up makeup, I will keep it in this bag. She is empty. Empty and um, quite a bit lighter. <laughs> so that is all that I have in my travel bag. That's all I carry. Just those 30 things. If you do have any further questions about, sorry, <laughs> let's try and present this a little bit better. If you are interested in knowing more about this bag, please leave uh, any questions or comments down below or let me know if you want me to do sort of like a full bag review of this bag. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. <laughs> sorry. That was really hard for me to say subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And that's a wrap.